So what's the new tech that EcoFlow has released for 2025? To find out, I was able to go to CES, which is the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas this year. That's basically the place where companies will announce any new products or major advancements in their systems, so that way they can show people how technologically advanced they are and show what they're bringing to the table that no one else has. Some examples of what EcoFlow is offering is they've got their Delta 3 Plus, which is a very portable yet very powerful system. It's great for car camping, tailgating, just running a fridge during a short power outage, those types of things, the Delta 3 Plus does really well. I know a lot of people use these for sump pumps, so that way when they're in rainy areas and that water gets into their basement, this will continue to run the sump pump even though the grid power may be out. So that's one of the major benefits of a system like this. It has high inverter power and then it has a little bit of battery expandability on the back. For much more portable setups, this is their new River 3. Now the previous unit, the River 2, had this big handle on the back and a lot of people complained about that. That's one of the things that I like about EcoFlow is they try to listen to their customers. So with their River 3, they actually made this handle completely within the housing. But with that, we got a very slight drop in battery capacity. We went from 256 watt hours to 245. So really, basically no difference at all. It's about the difference of one charge on a cell phone. So at their booth, they had some really cool stuff, including up on their ceiling, they had their 400 watt solar panels mounted so that people could see what they look like. And that was one of those subtle things that I don't even think a lot of people noticed, ironically. But it looked like they were running pretty much their entire booth off of their power stations. They had a whole free coffee area where you could go get fresh made coffee and they were running it off of their Delta Pro 3. That's one of the things that I like the most from EcoFlow is the Delta Pro 3 because it's that happy balance between very big power output, large battery capacity, good solar input, and to have all that you have to have a lot of weight but they still keep it as portable as possible, having a telescoping handle, built-in wheels, built-in handles, all of that so it has the happy medium of having portable power. You can get much larger systems like their Delta Pro Ultra, which does include a cart so that way you can move it around easily, but that's only on flat ground. Each battery is over 100 pounds, and so it's very heavy to move around, but with that, each Delta Pro Ultra battery is 6.1 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is massive. That's more capacity by about 20% than the server rack batteries that people commonly get. And whether you're going with a really powerful system like the Delta Pro Ultra or a moderately powerful system like the Delta Pro 3, both of them have the ability to connect up to their Smart Home Panel 2. Smart Home Panel 2 is a second generation on their original Smart Home Panel, and it allows you to hold up to 12 circuits of backed up power. And what that means is when the grid power goes out, the power stations will automatically transfer power over to them and keep running what's in the smart home panel too. So it's a limitation down to 12 circuits, but you can put your most vital circuits in there. So that way you can keep your well pump, maybe your air conditioner, kitchen, bedrooms, garage, whatever it is you need to run can all be housed in that smart home panel too. The additional feature, and this is all part of their Oasis AI, their software, is the monitoring and talking to it. You can actually ask the Oasis in the app, how much energy did you save by using your Delta Pro Ultra with the Smart Home Panel 2 last month? And if you've got your solar panels and everything connected to it, it'll tell you exactly how many kilowatt hours it ran off grid. That's gonna directly relate to how much money you saved on your power bill. So that's one of the extra advantages is it helps save energy on your power bill while backing up your essential circuits. I know Anchor Solux has a very similar setup, but EcoFlow has really been the first one to launch the smart home technology with their power stations, which is pretty cool. Now, they've also launched a more portable 125 watt solar panel. It's bifacial, which means it's got cells on the front for the majority of the power production, but on the back, it also has more cells, so any reflective light will hit that and give it a little boost of energy. Sometimes you can see anywhere from 10 to 20% increase in energy, which is pretty impressive for a solar panel. And that's why they have a special stand on it, so that way it's easier to put up. And I've personally been using and purchasing my own EcoFlow equipment for a long time. They have sent some of the equipment out for me to review, but in the end, I've spent thousands of dollars of my own money to test and review and use their units. So for example, the Delta 2 Max right here and the Delta Max, those are all systems that I use regularly as well as the Delta 3 Plus. The Delta Pro 3 is something that I use regularly for backup power in my garage, but I've even run my house off grid for a long time just on their Delta Pro Ultra. And that was simply with the bronze kit from PoweredPortableSolar.com, which included everything to have enough power to run for a couple of weeks. 
In the end, I was very impressed with what EcoFlow has to offer, including their DC fridge, their smart tech, smart home panel, their major power stations, their smaller power stations. They've really tried to have fingers or hands in every single pocket where people need backup power, whether it's ultra portable or running a whole house. So if you need help finding out what system is going to be the best for you, shoot me an email to info at poweredportablesolar.com. Or if you just want to see their equipment, I'll put a link in the description down below so that way you can see all of the different options. This is one of the easiest ways to be prepared. It's more expensive than doing a DIY system, but it's already figured out. You literally power it on, plug stuff in, and you're done. There's no programming, there's no wiring, there's no none of that. It's just done simple. Be prepared. See you on the next video.